Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you for your interest, and I wish you good vision. After having seen how to create the communication network and the variables, today let's see how to represent the variables read by the field devices, on graphic screens called, templates. For the realization of the templates, the template builder is used. So let's create a new template. Template Builder is the tool, that allows you to design supervision pages, using a very intuitive interface, in order to easily create all the diagrams of the project. The Property Editor allows you, to modify all the properties of the object, currently selected in the template, if no object is selected, the template properties are shown. The objects are divided into three categories, Standard, Advanced, and gadgets. The standard section contains commonly used objects. The advanced section shows complex objects, such as graphics and alarm lists. The Gadgets section, contains special controls, and indicators. Now let's format our template. Let's insert a frame, to group the following objects. Let's insert the description labels, for temperature, set point, power, automatic. Let's insert a label, to show the value of the temperature 1 variable. Let's connect the temperature 1 numeric gate. Let's now add an edit field, to modify the setpoint1 variable. Let's connect the setpoint1 numeric gate. Now let's add a gauge, to show the power 1 variable, in an analog way. Let's connect the power 1 numeric gate.
let's insert a switch, to change the automatic variable, from 0 to 1. Let's connect the automatic one digital gate. Let's insert a slider, to modify the power one variable, in an analog way. Let's connect the power one numeric gate. Let's insert two LEDs, to show the status of the alarm 1 and alarm 2 variables. Let's connect the alarm 1 digital gate. Let's connect the alarm to digital gate. Let's create an image, using the internal SVG symbol factory library. Let's choose an image, from one of the available categories. Let's create another frame of the same image, with a changed color, to highlight the change in status. Let's create the logic, of the frames connected to the state of the automatic one digital gate. Let's copy, and paste the previously created controls, into the tank image. Let's create an exit button. The object hierarchy, provides a hierarchical view of the objects used in the template, in order to make it easier to navigate, search, and modify some common properties simultaneously.
Let's save the template and go back to Project Manager. Let's execute our project. From the Supervision menu, let's call up the template just created. Let's also call up the Gate Status window for Diagnostics. And let's also check our Modbus Slave Simulator. Now let's modify the values, thus simulating the behavior of a PLC, in order to check our project in runtime. In this folder, you can define which templates are loaded at startup. We will now see some examples, of more elaborate templates. You will find these examples, in the official WinLog Evo demo. WinLog Evo provides the user with a series of objects or gadgets to build pages of virtual instrumentation. For the most demanding users, the industrial gadgets ActiveX library provides a set of digital animated objects such as buttons, switches, LEDs, and analog, such as pointer indicators, and potentiometers. Here is an example of a synoptic, representing an industrial process. It is possible to create, very realistic animated synoptics, using the internal graphic libraries of WinLog Evo. The Symbol Factory graphic libraries for industrial automation, include thousands of SVG vector format objects. Here is another example of animated synoptics. Registered users, of WinLog Evo, have access to a library of ActiveX animated objects. The Industrial Gadgets ActiveX library, includes a multitude of complex animated objects, such as motors, pumps, valves, tanks, pipes. Thanks for your attention. For more information, I invite you to browse our site or, send us an email. See you at the next tutorial, have a nice day.